It's a peaceful protest, but we're seeing that, you know, these these farmers probably help the economy a lot. Like these, they help a good bulk of the economy of India. But being treated like this and the violence we're seeing, why is the violence there? Because this is a peaceful protest. Like we do protests here in the UK or, you know, there's been protests around the world so many times. This is the world's biggest protest. Um, so why the violence from the Indian government and the Indian police? Well, this is the mystery. I mean, the farmers weren't armed. They weren't uh, go going to attack anyone. Uh, it, I think it's important to discuss also that it wasn't just the days now when farmers went to Delhi. These protests have uh, protest and demonstrations and um, get-togethers for farmers has been happening in Punjab for the last several months. Yeah. So they've been protesting for several months, and that led on to this huge protest now. So it's the violence being used against them, and nobody can understand why. A term that's been used in the media is terrorist or terrorism. Now, this is a peaceful protest, and we've been talking about this. The word terrorist is almost, it's being called a terrorist for um, following your religion. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional about this as well, but you know, if me being a Sikh is a terrorist, I find that very, very racial. So for this to be happening, openly and we're seeing all these Bollywood actors use this term as well openly on their media platforms, social media platforms. What is your say on that? Because I feel a bit offended look, reading stuff like that. Well, the problem is we are a minority. When you're a minority, um, the majority will continue to uh, launch uh, propaganda wars against uh, all those minorities. You know, we just want minority within India being called terrorists, being labeled terrorists. And I'm very outspoken on human rights issues. It could be the Yazidi community in Iraq under ISIS. It could be the Syrian refugees, or it could be uh, the people in India or Sikhs in Punjab. But as soon as I talk about India, I'm considered like anti-national terrorist. As soon as I talk about other nations, I'm actually a hero. So if I'm here to appease people, then I might as well you know, stay at home and paint, uh, paint myself a rosy picture that the world's a beautiful place. You can't be so like uh, born to just please everyone. It's not going to work. You've got to understand that when you talk about human rights, you've got to talk about every human right. The entertainment industry has gone out, has helped to, to massive levels. You they know, have, they, yeah. All of them are going out. How important has it been with them and you guys, like, you know, as a, as a team? Well, I think uh, we always look at Punjabi celebrity and singers, sometimes in a negative light. But when it comes to these issues, they've been fantastic, uh, especially to do with Punjab. So I'm glad to say that. I can't even name them, so many. All, almost, almost all major um, singers, celebrities, artists have attended uh, the protests in Punjab and now the protests in Delhi. And some have even uh, been helping serve langar at the Khalsar store. I think initially started with uh, uh, Tasim Jasser and uh, Ranjit Baba, then Amy Virk, and then uh, so many names. Yeah. Amrit Man, you name it, I can't even name them. Almost every singer has been there. Where do you see this protest going now? Because a lot of people are saying it's going to turn violent because people have had enough. Do you think it's going to go violent? Or will it oh, well, I hope not. I think the violence will come from the state who will instigate some sort of um, violent acts within the camps or the protest place to make it look like the protesters. The protesters have actually caught several people who were spying on them from the police. Secret cameras and drones and all that, they actually captured them. So uh, there's a very uh, strong possibility the violence in the, in, amongst the protesters will be instigated by the state. Uh, but, but the protesters have been very calm. Like you said, they're there for the long haul. They can wait nine, six, nine months. People are feeding them, supporting them, people from Haryana, all over the world. But uh, the government cannot sustain a large protest shutting off this major city like Delhi because it's doing economic damage. They, need, they, will, they will do something, either negotiate or use force. There'll, there'll be no in-betweens.